Welcome to Vaan Chemistry. Always try to do your best. Now we will see cyclopene compound and its RN configuration. We will derive it from plain chirality and we will see how we can find it step by step. Stay tuned. What is inside this video? First let us see what is plain chirality then RN disk configuration of it. In modern way it is called PNM configuration. Then we will see how we can do this in step by step and common mistakes and confusion. Here I shown few prominent examples below. We will discuss every one of it. First you have to understand the chirality to understand the chirality in cyclopene. Here I taken the shoes. Shoes are chiral. You might not understand it technically but you might feel it. Normally everybody knows left leg fit into left shoe. You cannot fit the left leg in right shoe because they are chiral. They are mirror image of each other. Technically they are enantiomer. So left shoe not equal to right shoe. They differ in the 3D space. This is called chirality. Left shoe never equal to right shoe. These compounds are optically active. They can rotate the light. Normally four types of chiralities are known. Zero dimension, one dimension and two dimension and three dimension. Zero dimension everybody knows it's a chiral center. A carbon has chirality by attaching with four different groups. Everybody knows of it. Then one dimensional chirality which is called axial chirality, single line on that particular axis you are creating the chirality. It is normally a lean system. And the important one today we will see that one it is called chiral planarity or plane chirality. It is come from the chiral plane created by compounds. Mostly cyclopanes and ANSA compounds. And third one is three dimensional chirality. It is called helical chirality to or spiral chirality. It comes from 3D spiraling. That's why it's called helical chirality. Helizines, DNA, RNA come in this category. But today's our industry is completely two dimensional chirality, particularly chiral plane. We will see how it works, how we can find R and S configuration of it. Then before we get into finding R and S, we have to careful with the chirality there. Before finding R and S, check with the chirality. If the compound is A chiral, we cannot say R and S, it is meaningless. Because it is not chiral, we cannot specify its positions. If it is chiral, we can do R and S. The first one compound, which is two benzenes are attached with the carbon, they are having mirror image. The mirror plane exactly going to the para portion of benzene. So it has mirror plane, so we cannot say it's chiral, so we cannot say R and S of it. The second compound also having similar category, bromine attached one. It is also plane goes through para position, reflect bromine each other. So it is also not chiral, we cannot say R and S. If you look at the third one, the compound is the perpendicular plane. It reflects both benzene nicely and bromine nicely. So it is also not chiral. So only chiral compound is the one attachment in the benzene ring. Normally the attachment comes in ortho position by obvious. So we can say R and S. So careful when you do R and S configuration. Now how the chirality is created? The substitution create the chirality. The first compound if you see chiral plane is there. So we cannot say R and S. But if you look at the second, the chlorine substitution destroy the symmetry or break the symmetry. So what you have is chirality. So the chirality created by the plane because the whole plane is chiral. That's why it's called plane chirality. The important thing I want to say is without chiral carbon also the chirality is possible. Before we get into finding R and S, we have to know the important thing which is pilot atom. In helicopter everybody knows who is pilot, the pilot who is sitting in front of the helicopter. The same thing happened to our compound, the pilot atom you have to find it. The pilot atom is the one which is above the plane. Normally it's near the substitution, it is chlorine. If you look at it we have two pilot but only one pilot is near to the chlorine there. That's why it is called pilot, other one is not calling as pilot. So the first step of you to find the configuration is finding the pilot atom. The atom above the plane near to the substitution. Then how you find R and S? It is easy. As I said find the pilot atom. 
here two pilot atoms are there on near to the chlorine is called pilot atom then we have to assign the numbering there you have to go from the top priority to low priority here cip rules don't apply you have to go from the pilot atom so one two three it comes clockwise here the rule is clockwise means r in new iu pack way it is called p if it is anti clockwise it is yes new name given by iu pack is m there basically p and m represent plus and minus but in convention r and s will be easy here pilot position is crucial if the pilot is below always you bring above and do it in advanced way you can do in simple but if you are a beginner i would suggest you bring the pilot atom above and do the r and s configuration here important thing i want to say is don't confuse with cip rules here it is different priority is the pilot it will be higher priority than any other here pilot atom gets higher priority than chlorine here careful with pilot atom always bring the pilot atom above otherwise you would commit a mistake particularly for beginners here is shown the compound with bromine here pilot atom is below so the first atom out of bromine chirality is which is the below atom that's why it's called pilot if you do straight away you commit the mistake in finding r and s configuration so what you have to do you have to rotate above so if you rotate above pilot goes above then you can do the numbering and find it here it is 1 2 3 4 same thing it is r configuration or you can say p configuration if you don't bring it do it simple way you will commit the mistake if you are advanced user i would suggest if pilot is below the configuration will be reverse then it is like any other chirality the mirror image always have opposite configuration if one is p another is m or one is r another is s here i given with the example you see the bromine atom in both cases they are reflecting exactly each other the compound is mirror image of each other your pilot is there and you do the configuration you have first one clockwise second one anti clockwise so the fact you have to know is mirror images are having always opposite configuration like normal cip rules then we will see influence of substitution what happened if bromine is above the plane and bromine is below the plane the first one case is bromine above the plane if you do the pilot atom you do 1 2 3 4 what really happen is clockwise then bromine is below the plane it will be anti clockwise so the substitution position is critical so if bromine above the plane it's one and below the plane will be definitely opposite of this one so always write the compound with 3d wedge structure otherwise you would commit the serious mistake then the compound can have many chiral center this is interesting like carbon it can have many chiral center here it can have many chiral plane the compound here i shown is two substitution you might wonder where is the pilot atom here two pilot atom will be there two configuration will be there the first one is bromine pilot we do for bromine attached one so the configuration is r the the start from pilot atom 1 2 3 4 so it is r If you look at the chlorine side, pilot atom is below. It's important one. Then the chlorine, if you do the numbering, it will be one, two, three, four. It is clockwise. The pilot atom is below. The configuration will be reverse. So it is anti-clockwise. Yes, configuration. So you should know the compound can have many chiral planes. Then we will see common confusion or common mistakes. Here you just see the bromine attached in the side chain, not in the benzene. in this case it become like normal cip rule because you are having normal chiral carbon there is no plane of chirality so it is anti clockwise yes configuration bromine had higher preference so the substituted carbon as again and the third one is with long chain the fourth one is hydrogen back side here i did so it is anti clockwise it is yes configuration so if you look at the second compound you have two substitution you might wonder where we can do the numbering here front side always get higher priority of back side irrespective of atomic number so if you do the numbering i mean gets four so 1 2 3 4 it is clockwise it is r configuration so while solving the problem you have to keep in the mind whether it is a plane chirality or the point chirality and the front side always get higher priority than back side 
here i want to summarize the important points we have seen so far the clockwise orientation if you have in old name is r new name is iu pack one which is p1 anti clockwise mean yes iu pack name is m there then four different thing we see if the compound is not chiral we cannot say r and s careful with that one and if it is chiral you can say r or s then the third one you have to see whether it is a chiral center or plane chirality if it is a chiral center cip rules apply then front side always get back side here front is same I it is always getting higher priority so n has to get higher priority here here the important thing you have to know is the pilot atom always get higher priority than atomic number that's all from this video i hope it was useful thanks for watching if you have any suggestion comment below if you do like my video share and subscribe